Okay, this couldn't be any more me, quite honestly. This, I love this. This is paradise. It really, really is paradise. <laughs> so all the parts that you see that are white right there is where your paint color is going to show through. I'm a horrible salesperson when I do lives. I always forget to say that you could buy these products on my website, serendipity.house. You'll notice I forget that every time. Sometimes I don't even introduce myself. So when you get the inlays, they need to be trimmed because there's this little piece at the edge on all four sides. Okay, I am going to, to save time, see if they line up enough for me to cut um, a couple at a time. See how bright that is? You can tell this is the side with the pigment that you're gonna lay into your paint. The other side, really not that bright, and you can see the grid lines bright. Pictures on the back of how to line these up. So I'm going nice and thick on this because I just like the way the inlays look on thick paint. Your paint has to be wet when you put the inlay in. Pigment side down. And hopefully I am gonna be straight. You do have a little bit of time. Not gonna push it all the way down yet. And I am going to slightly overlap. This is the only part I've really gotten the paint right now. I wanna push these seams together. Get it in the right place. So if I focus right here, Get my design to line up. All right, there we go. I am lining up my branches and hopefully they are lining up correctly, yes. dampening the paper, you don't want to soak it. I like the spritzer bottle, but you could also use a, um, a cloth and kind of tampen it down a little bit. And what you're, what you're gonna do is, when you're dampening your paper, basically you're loosening up the fibers. So this is going to make it so it will release and leave your pigments down into your paint. But your paper has to be uh, damp for that to work. I am going to pull these off and then they're, I'm just gonna step aside and like lay them on my floor so that they can dry because um, I'll probably get a second imprint out of this. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I love this, you guys. You saw me do it too, so you know that it's not too difficult. When I go back to use these papers again, this a second time is I will put it on something with a lighter color because you can see that there's some pigment left on there but it also picked up some of the brown so if I put it on a lighter color it will also transfer some of that prairie gray. I've got all of this left and it's pretty and it's gonna get used. Right? I looked at the colors in the inlay 
and took my color chart and picked out the colors that were closest. I'm going to use those to kind of hand paint and fill in where I need to now. When I'm all done painting the details, I have these little spray bottles. This is going to encapsulate all of the pigments and seal them, but it's not a strong enough. It's not strong enough to spray and then be done with it. You need a good uh, brush on seal coat afterward. I can't wait to see your projects, um, serendipity.house. That's me, I'm Michelle.